once a day, you should experience... All right. Oh, you know, Subway. Get some food. Sustenance. Now. K-I-S-W, the rock of Seattle. Painted in grass. Like Steve said earlier, it's just like it's next weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend, Labor Day weekend at White River Amphitheater. You going? Yeah, I'll see. I mean, uh, I think, you know, it depends on, depends on who's going to be there. Let me twist your arm. Bush is going to be there. Oh, okay. You want to see Bush? All right. 1154. Benjamin, they're going to be there. Allison Chains, Queens, right? Glorious Sons. I know you like those guys, BJ. Oh, yeah. And then we're kicking things off on, on Friday night with uh, Incubus and Sublime with Rome. That's going to be awesome. Three big days of Pain in the Grass. Plus, we have the BJ and Miggs uh, party where we're having the first ever BJ and Miggs weenie toss. And if, you're, if, you're, if you've been holding out and thinking about getting it, you're like, I'll get it next week. Get it as soon as you can because it might be by next week you're not going to be able to get these. Ooh, exclusive. Yeah. Come watch us toss weenie. Hey, who doesn't want to see that? The trophy. Good. Um, hey, uh, yeah, you can get tickets. You can get, of course, the, the BJ and Meek's private party. Things that you, can, you can get all that and more info. You know where. Yeah, you know what I'm going to say. K-I-S-W dot com. Let's play Meek. Time to play the game. Woo! Do Unfortunately, not Thursday. Oh, yeah. I know. Why do you got to tease us like that, Vic? Ever, but on the right side, we do have beat mix to play. See? Yes. You excited? I mean, I hope they do better than earlier. Yeah, you didn't do that great. No. Uh, but we have Bob and Chihuahua to play against you this time. Bob, are you there? Oh, yeah. We're on game number 40. Whoa. Do you know your score, like wins, wow. ties, losses? 19 and 20. Uh-oh. Oh, you're a game below 500 right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've only hit 500 once, and then you smashed me the next one. So you know it. So it's up on the spoiler. All right. So we will see if Bob smashes you this time. So get the hell out. Take your bike. Bob. <laughs> For those playing at home, you have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions, and you can pass all you want. But you do only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right. There are 168 of what in a week? Hours. Yes. The Price is Right airs on what network? CBS. Correct. Professor Farnsworth is a character from what animated sitcom? SpongeBob. Nope. Fast. Uh, beginning with P, what is the first, real first name of Johnny Knoxville? Paul. Nope. Nope. Come on. Uh, who played the blind character in the 2004 movie Ray? Uh, Jamie Foxx. Correct. Who is Scooby Doo's nephew? Uh, Scrappy. Scrappy Gabby. Scrappy. Uh, what is Bugs Bunny's famous line? What's up, Doc? Correct. What's the oldest man to win People's Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive? Sean Connery. Yes. Yeah. In the, the game Battleship, how many hits does it take to sink the submarine? Four. No. Five. No. Three. Correct. What no. is the dark and stormy? What no. is the dark and stormy typically garnished with? Pepper. No. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not bad. No, it is not. That is not bad at all. This could be this could be another song. I gotta, I gotta get ready. Get that song I mean, he's already had some food. He's a little bit more awake. Okay, he's accepted see. the reality that it's Tuesday, so we yeah. shall see. Are you ready, buddy? Oh yeah! All right. There are 168 of what in a week? Days. No. Minutes. No. Hours. Yes. The Price is Right airs on what network? ABC. Stupid. Nope. CBS. Yep. <laughs> Professor TV. Farnsworth is a character on what animated sitcom? Uh, Rick and Morty. No. Oh. Um, The Simpsons. No. Oh. Family no. Guy. No. Dang. Beginning with P, what is the real first name of Johnny Knoxville? Paul. No. Peter. No. Pedro. <laughs> That'd be awesome. 
Who played the blind character in the 2004 movie Ray? Oh, uh, I'll do Jamie Foxx. <laughs> yes. Who is Scooby Doo's nephew? Scooby Doo. Yeah. What is Bugs Bunny's famous line? That's all, folks. No. Oh. Um, crap, what did you say? Uh, what's up, Doc? There you go. Uh, what's the oldest man to win People's Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive? Morgan Freeman. No. Tom Cruise. No. Denzel Washington. No. Oh. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, five, just seven, you lose. Yeah. Oh, oh. Nice work, Bobby. Bob, don't kill yourself. That's a 500. Yeah. Woo, congratulations, buddy. <laughs> it, is the, it, it is the post convention pre pain in the grass decline. It's a pre holiday. One. Yeah. Oh. It's a thing. It's yeah. Good. It is a thing. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss, sir. Oh, and hey, uh, maybe you'd like this. Right. Oh. Professor Farnsworth is a character from Futurama. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, dang it, I forgot that too. I usually get Futurama. Oh. I do it in Rick and Morty because I was like, oh, Mickey's asking the question. Mm. Nope, nope, nope. I would have nope. got that wrong too, Steve. I would have done Rick and Morty and then I remembered it after Futurama and I would have been so mad at myself. Yeah, no one got uh, what the real first name of Johnny Knoxville is. Is, is what? it Philip? Philip. Yeah. Is it? I would have yeah. guessed that. I would have guessed Philip. That's cool. Would you have taken Phil? No, because that's not his real first name. Okay. Like, my real first name is a Vicky. Well, okay. mind blown. I, mean, I suppose you're it's right. Not wrong. So I have to remember to be, like, really, like, direct and because it's a formal name. Mm -hmm. Uh, how about who's the oldest man to win people's sexiest mag uh, man alive? Uh, mind blown. Well, close, no. Uh, Bob did get that one correct, Sean Connery. Uh, Sean Connery. Yeah. Sexy man. Boy, I wouldn't have got that. Uh, and then two you didn't even get to, but Bob did. In the game of Battleship, how many hits does it take to sink the submarine? Maybe submarine. Six. No. Nine. No. Three. Yeah. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and then one he didn't Four. get, but he got to. What is a dark and stormy typical garnish? Typical garnish. So this drink, a dark and stormy, what is a garnish? Oh, with? it's a drink. I was thinking it was a, yeah, yeah. a, a dish. Pepper. No. No, he's he not. Did he really? Yeah. yeah no, dark. dark. I'm trying to think of like some kind of like a dark spice. Isn't I, it just a lemon, Vicky? Oh, uh, yeah, lime wedge. Oh. Dark and stormy. Level one. one. So there yeah, you go. I, 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 they're wow. delicious. Yeah. It's rough. They're not. Nah, fair enough. BJ, you would love that. Yeah, I would. And if you put a donut on top of it, because I'll definitely love it. So is it a lemon or a lime that's the garnish? Lime wedge. Oh, it is a lime wedge. Okay. Mm. All right. That sounds like a great drink. Well, congrats to Bob. What else is in the drink other than a lime wedge and rum? Well, there's something dark in there, isn't there? <laughs> I think it's the rum. Is that just the rum? Oh, so it's a dark rum. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, maybe a spicy rum. It's All right. made with dark rum and ginger beer, so we're going to go over ice and garnish with lime. So it's the ginger beer. I knew there had to be something else in there. Kind of like a moth down there. Oh, all right. Because so, of the ginger beer part, yeah. Okay. So there's an adult toy site. I wouldn't know anything about this. It's called Adam and Eve. I don't know what these people are talking about. Whatever. Nice try. Yeah. Uh, you've heard of it. <laughs> Adam and Eve has been around forever. Yeah. It's well, I mean, since, I mean, since the beginning, weren't they? They were the first two, weren't you they? you get pamphlets? Yeah. No. Yeah. Just the emails, because sometimes they give away free videos on there. They're fantastic. I remember when I was a kid, I used to get the pamphlets. I was like, ooh. Wow. I don't think I've ever...